Hey there. Recently, I spoke on a local meetup for DevOps and AI guys about model context protocols, how they are different from REST APIs, and how similar to some extent they are to command line interfaces. REST APIs are made to be consumed by code, by software development kits, by SDKs. REST APIs are very verbose. Code doesn't care. It just uses what you send it. We humans would not be able to read responses from REST APIs. It's very normalized, decoupled, atomic. There is a bunch of data. It's very verbose and it's very bad for AIs. Model context protocols are meant to serve only clients, not code. They can be conversational and contextual in terms of data they serve. They should work better, but they also have their own problems. Space of MCPs is new. While MCPs are better tuned for LLMs, they, they are new. They're not, and companies are still figuring out what is required and what people want from them. Plus, there are some limitations how much information or tool calls you can give to LLMs until they start to fail. So, result of this, a lot of MCPs are kind of green, incomplete, don't have all the functionality that could be there, and sometimes are even buggy or hard to install. So, what are CLIs? They're command line interfaces, and they have a very long history. They're battle tested and in use for a while. They run in usually in local environments. They get text in and text out and both human and machine friendly in a sense that they are made so that one CLI can use another CLI. So kind of like apps using apps, but they are also are human readable with all the same things that LLMs like. So they, out of the gate, are pretty good for LLMs, and LLMs are pretty good at using them. And what happened to me over the last month is that uh, I found myself, instead of looking for a new MCP to install, asking AI to find a CLI to integrate with the systems I want to integrate AI with. So that find a CLI, integrate with it, use it. If it doesn't exist, take a look at the REST API and create a CLI that works with the REST API in a CLI style. But now you may be wondering what I'm actually using to do this kind of things. I'm actually building an, an MCP for this kind of type of work, and it's called Tester Commander. It's an MCP server that provides com all computer as a tool to AIs because it gives it access to a file system. It can do full file system file search inside of the files and for file names and so on, and it can read, write, and edit files in your system. But what's more, it can start processes and terminals and CLIs. It can start them, it can interact with them, and it can terminate them when they are not needed anymore. But it's even more interesting when it's all used together because it then can write code and it can execute code. It can see how it executes and, well, in the loop, improve, fix things and get your feedback and, well, create local processes for you, local like automation or even agents.